Hi, I'm Ray Rangel, founder of Credo. We're the media company that brings together innovative startups looking to build and grow their teams and a community of top talent that's looking for work that matters. Super excited to bring you this next company. I think they're a bit polarizing, which will make for interesting debate. Their uh, defense tech technology, what they're building is gonna be a big part of the future when it comes to border security and national security. They're currently hiring for 44 roles in Southern California. They're located in Orange County, California. I hope you enjoy this and let's get into it. Anduril builds cutting edge software and hardware products that solve complex national security challenges for America and its allies. The company's surveillance technology consists of large towers packed with sensors and small surveillance drones that can be set up along the border or at military bases to guard the perimeter. So this is one of our sentry towers. It is a totally autonomous, solar-powered, infrastructure-independent security tower. So by placing these towers every few miles, you can end up with a nearly perfect picture of everything that's going on in a really large area. And then that data is very easy for an operator to read. These are being used right now by the DOD, by Department of Homeland Security, along military bases, the border, and a lot of other critical infrastructure. Andrew's future success relies largely on the military's continued concern that the U.S. could lose to China in an arms race based on artificial intelligence. I think the reason why I find this company so compelling is for sure the technology. The technology is cutting edge. I think also it's interesting to, to anticipate the debate that's going to ensue. What is technology's role in furthering the ideals of Western democracy? Do we want this type of technology in our hands or are we going to just put it off and allow other uh, foreign powers that maybe don't have our best interests in mind to develop technology that's superior? I think first and foremost, it starts with their founder. This is the Interceptor. It's the creation of Palmer Luckey, who might be the world's most unlikely weapons mogul. He's the founder of a multi-billion dollar virtual reality company. He's also a polarizing figure in Silicon Valley. My name is Palmer Luckey, and I'm the founder of Anduril. I want to build a big company. I want to build a company that's worth billions of dollars. I want to become one of the major defense contractors that's building technology for the United States government. And uh, I'm, 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 I'm proud to say that. I'm happy to say that. And I hope we get there. At his previous company, the virtual reality headset maker Oculus Rift, Lucky had the idea to build a futuristic consumer device combining low-cost components with sophisticated software. He sold Oculus to Facebook for about $2 billion in 2014. I think once you sort of hear him talk, hear him lay out his vision, I think he's gonna inspire a lot of people to come work for him. He's gonna continue to build talent. It's gonna make us safer to be at the cutting edge when it comes to defense technology and national security. Because we're willing to work on unpopular things when they're important. You shouldn't pick the problems you work on based on what will make you the most popular at the Silicon Valley VC parties. You should pick the things you work on because you think it will make a big difference in the world. And people say this all the time. Like in HBO Silicon Valley, they, they, they joke about it. He, he says, I don't want to live in a world where someone else makes the world a better place better than we do. And that's, there's a lot of people in Silicon Valley who say that, but you're not making nearly as much impact on the world working on advertising monetization or better facial recognition for a social media app than you are literally saving the lives of people in the US military and all of the people that they defend. That, to me, that is making a difference in the world. That is making the world a better place, even if it's unpopular with the people who are the loudest voices. They're hiring for over 40 roles in Orange County, and I think Seattle's also a location that they're, they're hiring for. So I look forward to hearing from you and, and getting your thoughts and feedback uh, on this type of company and the role that you think technology should play in defense and national security going forward.